All right, we got old versus new, rogue versus paradigm. Who's better? All right, welcome back to Mike Torres Golf with your host, Mike Torres. Today is the real test. Now, I've tested the Paradigm, the Stealth, the Ping Max, and the Cobra Aerojet. Now, we're going to go figure out old school versus new school. My personal driver, the Rogue, versus its uh, now baby brother, the Paradigm. We're going to see what, you know, if, if it's going to be a little more distant than what we kind of saw it last time. And the cool thing about this time is that Duh, I didn't even think about to put my own shaft on the Paradigm last time. So I'm literally gonna hit, use my exact shaft. Make sure when I do this, non-draw bias. I'm gonna keep it very straight. I honestly just wanna see distance, the forgivability. The last time we saw it was very forgiving. So this is just gonna be an honest assessment. Rogue versus Paradigm. When we come back, we're gonna just get on the Rogue, get about seven to 10 shots on the uh, data matrix. And then we go to the Paradigm, seven to 10 shots there. And that's about we it. We're going to test out the road first, and then the paradigm next. Off the top of my head. Uh, yeah. Good start. 278. Do a little face. I would say pretty hard. A little drop. 275. That's good. You got right? And you got in? Yeah, I'll do right. Yeah, I mean, you got the drum. Oh my god, that carry is great. <laughs> that should draw in. Did it fall through? There it is. So we're going to end on that. <laughs> All right, the paradigm standard. We hit the rogue already. We're going to now hit the paradigm standard. See which is better big brother or little brother. Okay, swing one hair done, but we're gonna end on that. 290 carry, 311 total. All right, we have now hit the paradigm against the rope. We're gonna go back and make sense of numbers. Very interesting. Hit them, hit them both pretty well. Um, for me, it's. I mean, for me, I still like the aesthetic look of the black and gold. For me, now the club falls down. The aesthetic look still kind of bothers me a little bit with the paradigm. I'm not a big fan of the uh, the shininess. The color's fine, but um, we'll go back, make make sense of the data, see which is better, and if maybe you should upgrade. Other than that, stay tuned. All right, we're back at the house, and then we're gonna go over the rogue and the paradigm data. And we're going to see which is better. If, you have, if you're playing a rogue, should you upgrade? Data, data doesn't lie. Numbers don't lie. And I'm going to break this down as best as possible. And there's going to be a convincing winner here. Uh, it's, pre it's pretty clear because there's one uh, data set from each that matches almost identical. And there's a big separation. So let's go right into it and let's talk and about it. I'm not going to lie. I know how to swing my rogue. So it was a little unfair against the Paradigm, a little bias here. I was cracking my Rogue. And I'm going to be honest, it was early, when I uh, went to the sim, it was early that morning. So my body wasn't fully stretched out, uh, but I was catching it. My ball speed, like top notch is around like 162 square in the face. My smash factor at 1.5 is very like, that's pure for me. That's usually a 147 makes more sense. But, you know, 273 carry, 278, 275, 273, 279, 279, 276. No carries in the 280, but my launch angle was pretty low comparatively. My, my club speed was, you know, 107, 108, 107. And then I really went after one specifically. And this is the one we're going to talk about. The one, 111.4. I caught everything. That smash factor was really good. And I put that out about 279.4, and it rolled out to 308. I absolutely pummeled the living shit out of this drive. I look at so, that, I look at the launch angle, I look at the spin rate, and I also have to remember, I play this club normally. And I'm, I'm going to give you the difference here, because we're going to go up here and you're going to be like, well, the numbers almost match. They looks, don't. The numbers are kind of even, but they're not. 
So let's do that. So first off, you know, by the big thing we're going to see is like, oh my God, the carry is literally even. 276, 276. Yeah. I'm and swinging then, a paradigm for the first, uh, second time. And for me, again, early morning, wasn't really, I mean, still putting it out there. But look at the spin rate. Look at the launch angle. They're carrying the same distance on lower smash factors and higher spin rates comparatively to down here. That's what I, I, I sat there and I was amazed by this. The balls, the one thing I will say is the club speeds were off, but the ball speeds were much better down here. I was getting better contact. So where I lost in club speed here, I gained in ball speed with smash factor. And what I gained in um, club speed here, I lost in ball speed. And here. a 280 for me on my rogue is considered like a bomb for me. And there's one piece of data that says it all. We go through this on a, let's put it this way, on a bad day with the Paradigm. I did not hit this well. Look at this. I had a 139 for Christ's sake. I still carried it 271. 111 to 111. Ball speed, 162. One, basically 163, 163. Smash factor, even. 147, 147. Launch angle was slightly higher. I carried it another, basically 10, 11 yards, and I rolled it out four more yards. I was in complete shock of how forgiving and how fucking powerful this club is. Like, I hit it, and I hit it when I did my other video, and I was pounding this thing. I had a 293 carry. Like I said, you always test clubs, against each other on the same day. You just never know. I almost had a 290 carry there. I don't carry my driver 290. No. I like looking at the dispersion. The dispersion with the Paradigm, I was lock and loaded here. Like I said, this Rogue, it was bombed. You know, it was a solid 279.4. It was a bomb. I had a nice little draw to it. I remember that shot. And then this one, besides, besides these two shot, I was in the realm of where my Rogue is. But... For hitting a brand new club in the sim, miss hitting it a good amount, and, ca and it was keeping up with my rogue that I was striping. Like when I look at the when I look at the smash factors, and yes, the first thing you're all going to be like, "Well, the ball, the club speed was up." Well, yeah, I mean, you, you can you take one and eliminate from the other others. So basically, this cancels out this, this cancels out that. That's simple. That's math. Now, it's not to the exact point, but then you have a category where if these cancels out, just like, you know, in math would, then the smash factors take over. These smash factors were a lot worse than these, and these were keeping up, even putting it up further, and I was getting a launch angle. I was getting a launch angle that I didn't even want. I wanted it to keep it around 14, 15. This thing just exploded. It did not matter if I caught it off the toe, if I caught it off the heel. And then I caught this one dead center, and holy shit, did it just it didn't it didn't stop going. Like I remember the uh, the guy that you know that always sits behind and you know he uh, shafts me up uh, while I'm doing the sim uh, sim videos. He was just like, holy shit, you may want to upgrade. So this may be a uh, this may be an upgrade for me. I mean, I didn't think that Callaway was going to be able to do it, but dear God. Um, that says it all for me. I mean, everything, that one shot on each matches up perfectly. That says the story. And then for me, we're going to go to the outro and I'm going to give you my final, uh, final analysis after looking at the data. And that's about it. We'll be back. All right. Final analysis on the Callaway paradigm. First off, I'm really upset that they can't spell the damn name right. It's P-A-R-A-D-I-G-M. They spell it D-Y-M. It drives me nuts that the Callaway just can't spell. But the good thing is, you gotta have your po you gotta, you gotta have your pros and cons. Con, they can't spell. Pro, this club is for real. I mean, I I'm I've never I don't carry a driver 290, 295. Two times in the sim now, I was able to have a few big balls. 
This one only had one big ball at 290. The other sim one, I was I put out three or four in the 290s where I was just like, holy crap. So is younger brother bigger than big brother? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I was actually, and I was asked by people, um, uh, you know, is it an upgrade to the Rogue? And I, I honestly gave an honest assessment. People were watching me while I was doing this. I was kind of laughing. And they were just, I just asked, gave him my final uh, verdict on this, like at, you know, where I was doing it at. And I told him, like, this is definitely an upgrade. It's really, it's really depending on what you're getting. If you want distance and a hot face, yeah. Callaway really did it this year. I don't, that jailbreak technology and how, what they did, it's the real fucking deal. Excuse my language, but that's how impressed I am with this club. Uh, that's the club to beat this year, and it is bigger, than, it is better, in my opinion. Um, and here's the reason why it's better than the rogue and it's an upgrade from the rogue because for me, I can smash my rogue. You, you've seen it in my shorts. You've seen it, it, it. I can hit that thing hard if needed. I'm also extremely accurate with that thing. The paradigm hits it further and it's as if not more forgiving. You just saw the dispersion. So for me, I don't know what Callaway is doing over there and that, uh, what they're brewing, but that is by far one of the best drivers I have hit to date. And if you are, if you need a reason to say, hey, I want to buy the Paradigm, I want to be honest, go hit first, depending if you're trying to get a draw bias or a, you know, there's a draw bias one. If you have a bad fade, hit that. It does cancel out that slice pretty well. Um, this, the standard, I was just bombing. The triple diamond, <laughs> you hit that thing. That carried that. I carried that. In, so I carried one of them in the three hundreds. That just for me, I can't hit that club consistently. But holy crap, it goes a country mile. Uh, all of Callaway's clubs this year have been very impressive, and I'm gonna say if you if you need that extra, like, hey, I don't know if I should buy it. Buy it. It's by far if you're if you need distance and forgiveness. That's the club to get. Just make sure you get it shafted correctly to you, and you're going to be happily, you're going to be very happy with your purchase. Uh, for me, I'm considering it because I am still seeing a few other things with a few other brands that I was really happy with while testing. But other than that, if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button now, hit that like. And I'm going to be testing a lot more. Um, the next video I'm going to be putting out. We put the G425 up against the G430 and see if Ping came out with a better version. So, if you if you know how you know I roll with my videos, I keep it real.